Okay, so today I'm doing a typing tutorial for a 1966 Royal Sabre. And this is not an original color. This is one that we've painted. Um, they do come in a variety of colors, but this lavender is not one of them that I'm aware of. Anyway, let's take a look around it and then I'll show you how one of these types. So this one is manual. There's no electricity needed. So it is portable, though it's it's a larger portable typewriter, but definitely if you want to take it to a typing group or type in or something like that, you can certainly do that. So your paper is going to go right up in here, which I won't thread it right now. And you're going to set margins. First of all, here's your paper guide, so you can put that wherever you want. And then you use the magic, magic margins to set your margin. And um, you do that by, you can see there's actually no margin set because it's at the very end of the roller. So let's say I want to set it right here for my left margin. You just press and it's set. Then you go over here and again, um, the margin's actually set right here, but I want to set it somewhere else. So to do that and excuse my arm, I'm going to press this magic margin tab down and hold it down while I move the carriage. So I know my arm might get in the way, but let's do that. And you just kind of hold the carriage and it should, maybe that's the end, it should release it. Let's try setting it right here and see if that worked. Yeah, so it reset it to right here. Now I should be able to hold it. Yep. And this is just the max it'll go is right here. So to release a margin, you hold and move the carriage and that deletes it. But then you put, make sure you put your carriage where you want it to be and then press it and that's where it's gonna set your margin. So now I have my margins set and the bell will always tell you when you're just about to get to your margin. Uh, by the way, to release your carriage, there's little metal tabs behind here and um, that releases it so you can move it around. When you get to the end of the line and you use your return handle, it will advance it either one or two lines depending on where you have it set right here. This is a paper release. Actually, here's your paper release on this side so that when you're loading and your paper, if it gets uh, off-centered, you're gonna release it with this tab right here. This one, hey, I'm actually not sure what this is for. Okay, so column, this is the same idea for, this is column is another word for tab. So if you want to set a column, then you have the magic setting right here and you can clear it right here. And this is just determines how hard your type bars are gonna strike your paper. Um, this is your color selector, red and black and stencil. And then um, to get inside, make sure your carriage is to the left pop the top off and don't worry you do need to use a little bit of oomph to get it open and that's okay. Inside you'll see a universal ribbon. All of our typewriters come with brand new ribbons and um, once you get to the end of the spool then you need to reverse the direction and you do that by just popping that over and you can do it on either side and that reverses the direction. So right now let's see which direction it's going this way and if we just pop it, it'll now go this way. So when you first get a typewriter, always make sure you check your ribbon and make sure it's installed properly. And it, check your guide wires very closely. Make sure that is threaded through. The black goes on top, red goes on bottom. And then I recommend maybe just um, doing this a little bit to make sure it's nice and loose and that it's working. And you can kind of see if you look which school has more ribbon on it than others. So this one has the least amount. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of pull more this way. So it's almost to the end. And now I'm gonna switch directions. And so when I type, it's gonna start with the one with the most ribbon. And that's just a good tip because 90% of your issues have to do with your ribbon. Okay, let's put this back on. And we'll do a typing demo. So you just put your paper in right there and you roll it through. I always like to make sure it's even, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go back here. 
This is a 1966. Um, I'm going to put it on black. Royal. And this is a silver. And this one is a um, script font, which is hard to find. People love script fonts. They're so beautiful. So let's just keep typing through. do the uppercase now. This feels really good, really solid. Um, let's try out the red, see how it, that does. So um, I have noticed, uh, as you'll see, let me turn it up here. I don't know if you can tell, but the um, the red ribbon does not stay consistent. It'll it pops back down to the black. So uh, just know that on this one, the red is um, probably not going to be in for this particular one going to work as well as the black, but it works. Um, and then also the plastic piece, you'll see right here, there's a plastic piece. There should be one on this side that has been broken off. And so it is not there anymore. And um, just that kind of helps hold the paper back a little bit. But otherwise, this, I'm gonna move it back to um, black. This is a great, typewriter for creative writers just because it's so pretty it does it works well the the red ribbon doesn't work great but um, everything else on this is beautiful look at that font it's beautiful all right if you want to if you're interested in this particular typewriter you can uh, visit the link in the comments below, but thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Happy typing.